In this video, we're going to talk about the probe interface and, and how to set up um, different probes on the oscilloscope. Before we go into that, one of the things that I wanted to mention was the RTM3000 has a probe interface built into the front of it. And, and what this allows it to do is to automatically detect different probes, whether it's a passive probe and automatically setting up the attenuation um, or a active probe and automatically configuring the oscilloscope for that active probe. This is a pretty nice capability and something that's common across our 3000, 4000, on into our Windows-based scopes like the RTE, RTO, RTP, and um, in almost all cases, the probes can actually be used across those different product families, um, particularly for general purpose probes like um, high voltage probes, current probes, those types of things. So let's go ahead and dive into the probe interface itself. And one of the easiest ways to get into this, you can of course go into it through the channel menus, but I like to use the menu down at the bottom. And so when you click on this, it's gonna pop up a quick soft menu for you to do um, fast adjustments. So if you wanted to change to a 50 ohm input, for example, you could do it here. Um, in some cases, this may be grayed out if you're using a probe, say like a passive probe that uses one meg ohm input, it won't allow you to change this. Um, you can turn on filters, you can turn on different coupling, or you can dive into the actual probe menu itself. And so we'll go ahead and jump into the probe menu itself. And from there, you have a bunch of different settings that you can do now. Um, I think one of the nicest ones is if you need to adjust the attenuation. So if you're using a custom probe or you have a reason that you need to adjust that, you can do that here. And when you change that, you'll notice that it automatically adjusts all of the graticule information, um, the information on uh, what the volt per division is, that type of thing. So I'll go back to one to one, and you'll notice that that is now at 62.5 millivolts from the 625 that it was. Um, of course, you can set in a user um, value as well if you need to, um, very easy to do. Um, next, you can change the unit. So um, if you're measuring in uh, and you wanna see the units read out in amps versus voltage, you can do that. Um, automatic, you know, obviously it defaults to, to volts there. And then there's also the probe adjust. And so the probe adjust, um, it's actually a menu that will walk you through, um, going through and, uh, adjusting your passive probes and getting those compensated for the oscilloscope itself. Um, one of the nice things is we actually built it, um, so it'll automatically handle the passive probes that come with the RTM 3000 and um, allow you to set that up quite easily.